one sound effects man used to do Walter Cronkite, and uh, that was on at 7, and then he did uh, Late News at, at 11. And so in between, he had a couple of drinks, and uh, so a, a tourist had, had seen a, a suicide. And someone had jumped off the uh, Empire State Building, and they hit the water, and they, they had a tape of it, a, a film of it, and they sh sent it to CBS, and they were airing it. So uh, the sound effects man didn't see it until, you know, right before air, and he saw that, and he said, oh, gosh, you know. And I guess he didn't know that it was a suicide or something, so he thought he'd add something. So he put in this big, <laughs> big splash. Well, Salant, uh, the president of CBS, uh, was on the phone in about two seconds, and he said that all that was missing was a slide whistle down, uh, you know, for a comedy. And that's the last time we're going to have sound effects, uh, you know, on, on the news. And the reason we had sound effects on the news was because of the films that would, would come in. Everything was done on film. And so you'd be waiting for the couriers to come in on their motorcycles uh, with the film of maybe a big fire. But there was so much overshooting that they had to cut out. You may go from, from a, a siren into a fire. So you have... <laughs> and so you have all this choppiness, and it, there's no there's no uh, continuity. So in that case, what we used to do is we take a, a record called a Mogambi Waterfall, and slow it down. We had variable speed turntables, and we could slow it down so you only heard, <laughs> or you could speed it up and you could clip it in. You could make it a gunshot. <laughs> so we'd use that, and then we just maybe put in a siren. And something like that, and then when 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 the uh, when they cut from the the uh, the fire engine to the fire, the uh, the siren would overlap, and then you'd hear the fire. So it was very smooth, and that's what sound effects were for to cover up or it wasn't to deceit uh, the audience. It, it was to make it more professional. But one time on Mike Wallace's uh, show, he was on at seven o'clock in the morning at CBS, and uh, he was doing the news, and it was uh, during the Korean War, and it was uh, the uh, soldiers were coming back from a, from a, uh, a battle, and you heard, uh, uh, and the uh, director wanted to hear, you know, marching feet. So uh, the sound effects man had the marching feet ready, and, uh, and uh, but unfortunately, on the other side, it was a major record, which is a red label. On the other side was machine gun. So he had some other stuff, and so he inadvertently, instead of having the marching feet, he had the machine gun. And so he had this other stuff going, and so now they cut to the battle scene, we're on the air, he hits the record, and it's the machine gun. But Mike Wallace doesn't hear it in the studio, and he's saying, and here they come trudging back from their, their such an, and you hear, <laughs> well, of course, the sound effect man killed it, you know, and so forth and so on, but the director just went through the roof, and that was the last time sound effects were done at CBS on the morning news. And they sent me down to try and placate them, and even because I knew the director pretty good, and he was a good guy, and he had a good sense of humor and everything. He said, no, Bob, we're not taking any more chances. Because we had to be there at 5.30 in the morning, you know, to view the film and everything, so Sometimes, you know, you got uh, a little lazy or you got, uh, like in radio, what they used to do is they take the needle out of, out of your arm and put a paper clip in there and cut it off. So, and then they put it back in, in the exact place where the cue was supposed to come. And if you didn't check, you, you'd hit that record and they'd go, Whoa! So, in, in, in television, they could do the same thing. They, they, they could take a record that looks exactly the same, like a, a, a sander, you know, red, white, and blue label, the same thing, the same cut, and put the needle down exactly where it's supposed to go, but instead of hearing a gunshot, you'd hear a, a, a bagpipe. And that's why uh, a sound effects uh, uh, artists drink. A lot. <laughs> Because you never knew, you were always checking, always checking. 